channel and hello if you are new my name is Tommy um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video and also give this video a thumbs up if you happen to really enjoy it with no further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video so today I decided to do another cooking with Tommy I'm home for the summer I don't really know exactly what to call this me and my friends we just call it taquitos but every time I searched Tequitos, it's wrapped up really tightly, rolled really tightly. But this, we're going to do something a little different. So yeah, my friend actually discovered this recipe. She um, found it on Facebook. After that, she doesn't even know the name of it either. Every time we try to like search the actual recipe, we can't really find one. So Mexican inspired basically. So yeah, you only need five things. Ground beef, you need some cream cheese, tortilla wrap, some flour tortillas, and some shredded cheese. You're also just going to need some oil. We're going to fry it at the end. You guys will also need just some, some toothpicks, but I wasn't able to find toothpicks. So I just bought some kind of long skewers and I think these will work better in my case. But you can make these any size that you want you can make really small you can do big ones went in looking for um wraps this size which is like i guess um eight inches or something but you can definitely do it with the small ones as well so i'm probably going to mix it up this is everything that you need guys let's get started step number one we're just gonna go ahead and brown the ground beef go ahead and put in any seasonings that you want at this stage you guys know me. I like to put lemon pepper on anything, but omit it if that's your that's your choice. You know, you don't have to put this in here. You don't have to tell me not to put it in here because I'm going to put it in here. So y'all just do something else. You might want to add a few pinches of salt. Not too much. the ground beef is almost done got a little oil so we're gonna have to drain that okay, so now that we have drained the ground beef we're gonna return it to the skillet and now we're gonna add in our cream cheese we want to let this thaw out beforehand go ahead and get your stove going again just add that in there Definitely let your cheese soften beforehand. I have my stove turned down really low because I don't want to like overcook the ground beef. But I'm just making sure that this cream cheese is mixed in here really well. Making sure that all the ground beef is covered. Also, it may be better to do this in like a boiler pot or something. Just so it doesn't like splash out or anything. But I'm just using a skillet. So it should be kind of like pasty now. More pliable to move. Now you just want to mix in your cheese. You can kind of eyeball the cheese. But just throw in some cheese. Like I said, this isn't like exactly a whole real recipe that I'm following this time. So I'm just showing you how I'm making it. This is pretty much done for our mixture. So now you can officially turn off the stove and set your meat mixture to the side. We're going to turn the stove back on actually. So turn the stove back on and just add some oil to a pot or something. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of oil. While our oil is heating up, we're just going to go ahead and take our tortillas. Um, like I said, I'm going to mix the sizes of how I make these. But you just want to take a tortilla. Your toothpicks or skewers ready. You just want to take a scoop of your meat mixture. I don't know how many you guys are going to make, but um, 
I'm going to take about that much, um, like a spoonful and then a half. Then you just begin kind of folding the sides. It doesn't have to really be any, any, any particular pattern or anything. You just want to cover up all the meat. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit out. So yeah, that's kind of a little too much. So once you start folding, you can actually see how much you really need. So just take a little bit out. And the cheese kind of made this a little oily, so yeah. This is kind of the shape that we always end up doing. So it's just like that. <laughs> and we're just going to use the skewers to hold the shape. So again, it's kind of like taquitos, taquitos, but I'm not... Me and my friends aren't really sure. You can use as many of these as needed. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. So you just want to kind of make a bunch of those. Set that over there. definitely a lot smaller so you don't need as much meat so if you like have little brothers and sisters and they want some too or if you don't want you know as much if you want to have them like as a snack or something so just like that Okay guys, now that your oil is nice and hot, you might want to grab a pair of tongs. I have a plate with some paper towels on it, so when these are done. Okay, so pretty sure I had a malfunction, <laughs> but I just took some of the oil out because I'm pretty sure it was way too much oil. And yeah, took some oil out. You just want them to get golden, guys. Golden. See, not too much oil. <laughs> guys, I burnt one. Look at that. Not too much oil. Also, just lightly flip them over, guys. They're going to get kind of golden. And sometimes toothpicks get stuck, but yeah. Just flip them over, just like that. Just flip them over. And of course, the heat does not have to be high because the oil will burn them. And you don't want burnt whatever this is. So don't burn it. You know, like, really, that'll do. So just take it out. Just take it out. Just take it out. Just that said, the food is done so again you definitely kind of want to let them like cool down and kind of put them on some paper towels and stuff so that some of the oil that we use can absorb out of them so yeah so they should just look like this we pretty much kind of fried the bottom a little crispy and the top we just fried really lightly so they can come out looking all different ways you know this one looks weird be like a goldenish color oh this is what they look like and they're really easy to eat so taste test again they aren't overly hard or anything they're really soft they taste really good this is what they look like on the inside it's super good guys really nice and cheesy this is just what me and my friends make sometime um, again I got this recipe from a friend just how you make these beef cheesy wraps I don't know what else to call them I really don't guys yeah I have a picture on my phone from just the ingredients from Walmart and this recipe would cost less than ten dollars if you were to make this and I think it makes quite a few little things like this like I have two plates full actually but these are just a few of them that I wanted to show you guys 
again they're really really good thank you so much for watching also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and go ahead and turn on your post notifications also just give this video a thumbs up if you liked it that helps me out a lot and leave a comment down below i love to hear you guys thoughts on the video and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye